Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Fine, fine. Okay, excellent. Okay, Arely. How are you, Arely? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? Very fine. Okay. How's everything in your office? All good? No problem. Okay, let's see. Good evening, teacher. Oh, hello. How are you, Gloria? Good? Fine, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. It's good to be good. Yes. Good. All right. Now we have a... Um, this is a little uh, review of what we had on Thursday last week. Um, it says in this session we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. Okay. So, and we watched this video. I don't listen, teacher. Now we're back. Just let me share the sound of the computer. Here we are. And okay, here we go with the video. Here today, repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay. We have to refresh it. Wait a minute. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Oh, Daisy, how are you? 
Good. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, good. How are you, are okay? you teacher? Good. Here. Fight, fighting, with the, fighting with the technology. Ah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Peleando con la tecnología, right? You know, the internet and all that stuff. Okay. Hi, in this lesson we will study present perfect. Okay, I want you to question the internet question yes Yet. Present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Okay, good. Now, if you see here, we have the, the present perfect says is formed with the verb have. Okay. Uh, let me check here. Okay, verb have. Okay, y en este caso have no significa tener, right? It means haber, right? Yo he, tu has, el ha. So then it says the present perfect is formed with the verb have. Has. Plus, huh? plus the past participle of a verb. In, uh, in the list that I sent you last week, okay, you can find la tercera columna de los verbos, right? Is the past participle. I guess, let me see if I have it here. Uh, yes, here it is, yes. Okay, for example, the one of the verbs there is, Let's say bent, perfold, be sought, be set, be spoken, bet, okay, uh, bound, bit, bitten, okay. And then we can use have you been eaten, okay, sorry. Have you been eaten by a lion? Question mark. Okay. Then, uh, have you been eaten by a lion? That is a question. Okay. Gloria, have you been eaten by a lion? Rawr, a lion. Hello, Gloria. Hello? Yes. Have you been eaten by a lion? Um. Yes or no? You can answer this or this. Uh, yes. Yes. I've been eaten to by by a lion. By a lion. Okay. You got it. 
¿Se entiende la pregunta y lo que se está respondiendo? Everybody. Ok, ¿entienden esta estructura? Seame, seame sinceros para poder cambiar la estrategia o... Okay. Tal vez nos podía, teacher, tal vez uh -huh. nos podía explicar porque... I don't know, teacher. Tal vez nos podría... Explicar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que estoy la... tratando, ok. Pero quisiera sí, saber uh -huh. hasta dónde eh, conocen esto. ¿Lo han visto antes este tema? Yes. No, no. Ok, yes, yes. tal vez no. Yes. Medias, ok. No importa, no importa. Ok. Eh, ok, perfecto. Pero sí quiero que me vayan diciendo si se va entendiendo o no para poder ir cambiando la strategy, ¿ok? No hay problema, no se preocupen si no lo entienden. De eso se trata. Ok, solo me apagan los micrófonos para que podamos concentrarnos. Ok, let me see. Ok, veamos. Don't worry, people. Ok, present perfect. Comenzando por acá. ¿Qué es el present perfect? ¿Cuándo lo usamos? Ok. Presente continuo. No. No. No, present perfect. Ok. Present continuous is I am working. Ok. Pero está bien que me digan esas, está bien que me digan esas cosas. No se preocupen porque yo así vamos entendiendo mejor y eliminando esas dudas, ok, o esas confusiones. Present continuous, nada que ver ahorita con el present perfect, ok. Present continuous es lo que se está haciendo en el momento, right? I am, for example, I am working, I am teaching English, I am speaking, I am uh, uh, sitting, ok, I am looking at my computer, ok. So this is present continuous. Ajá. ¿Alguien iba a hablar ahí, un caballero? ¿Es el person perfect? ¿Otra idea? Es, es lo que explicó en la, la clase anterior. Que uh -huh. dijo que, que lo habíamos hecho en un tiempo, pero que todavía lo continuamos haciendo. Ok. Let's say, vamos a ver. Ok, good. Ajá. Por ahí va, por el tiempo, correcto. Let's say with the computer we can't do this drawing. Just let me. Okay, like he said. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Let's say, let me see what else. Okay. This is the past. Digamos que este es un punto en el pasado, right? Okay. Uh, un punto en el pasado puede ser. Uh, ¿A qué hora comenzó más esta clase? Go ten, uh, nine, nine, nine. Nine? Uh -huh. nine o'clock. Nine nine perfect. Ok. And then, imaginemos que ese nine o'clock okay, es este punto. Ok. ¿Y qué hora es en este momentito? Ahorita, justamente. Okay. ¿Qué hora es? Quarter five, nine. 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 Okay. Nine. It's nine o'clock. Nine fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, decimos, para decir esto, dijimos, decimos en pasado, the class started at nine o'clock. Okay. Usamos pasado. Aquí vamos a ver los tiempos, los diferentes tiempos. Pasado, the, the nine is started at nine o'clock. The class is started at nine o'clock. In this moment is 9.15. Presente. Present, correct? 
Y si digo, yes. I am, I am teaching present continuous. Ok. Entonces, ¿dónde está el present perfect? Right? El present perfect is the time that we use that we use to connect el pasado con el presente. Ok. I have I have been, been in this last four fifteen minutes. Okay, y aquel día alguien me preguntó de since también, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, then you can say I have been in this class since nine o'clock. Okay. Okay, entonces aquí podemos, solo aquí podemos ver eh, como cinco o seis, o seis tiempos, pero vamos a usar, por ejemplo, first tense, the class started at nine o'clock. Okay, in this moment, we can change this because in this moment is nine, 18. Okay. Okay. It is 918 present. Okay. I have been in this class for 15 minutes. Okay. He estado en esta clase por 15 minutos. Es el presente perfect. An action. Okay. An action. That began in the past. Okay. Una acción que comenzó en el pasado. Okay. Apague el micrófono, please. And, okay, in the past. Gets to the present. Okay. Comienza en una acción que comenzó en el pasado, llega al presente, ok, aquí. Vean cómo va a cambiar el tiempo. Right now is 8-9-19. An action that began in the past gets to the present and will probably continue in the future. Okay, see now it's 9.20. Vean como el presente, el pasado quedó en el pasado, la clase comenzó a las 9 y ahí comenzó. Eh, cuando decimos it's 9.20, ahorita son las 9.20 y cuando ya son las 9.21 se quedó en el pasado. Ok, pero el presente perfecto sigue avanzando. Ok, termina hasta el momento que nosotros dejamos de hacer esa acción. Por ejemplo, I have been in this class for 15 minutes. ¿Qué va a pasar cuando sean las 10? I have, uh, I, I finished the class. Then I, the class. Van a decir ustedes, I have been in this class for one hour. For one hour. Ok, y probablemente, si nos quedamos ahí hablando un poquito más, probablemente va a llegar hasta las 10 y 3, digamos. Okay. Por eso es que dice, probablemente continuará en el futuro. Okay. Ahorita, que son las 9.21, va a continuar hasta las 10. O sea, ahorita programado hasta las 10. Okay. So you see, action that began at 9 o'clock in the past gets to the present, 9.21, and will probably continue in the future. Hasta la 10 p.m. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende, ¿Se entiende más o menos? 
Si no, hagan las preguntas que quieran, no problem. The expression has been only, eh, siempre va. Eh, sí y no, ok, dependiendo de la pregunta, que usted, de la oración que quiera decir. Es el have, el I have, sí siempre va a ir. El que va a cambiar es el verbo, la acción. Ok. Esto es I have been. Pero podemos usar, por ejemplo, eh, ¿cuándo fue su primer clase de inglés con inglés corporativo? Brenda. Quiero ver. Hace cuatro meses, creo yo. Okay. No, no, no importa. Okay. Uh -huh. I have, entonces aquí va a cambiar. I have started. Ve, ya cambió el verbo. Okay. Okay. I have studied English at Inglés Corporativo since eh, let me see, September, August, July, June, desde eh, de, de junio, digamos. Ok. Teacher, se podría decir... Okay, perdón, solo, solo termino con, en esta idea. Okay, okay, I have, okay. ya, ya, ya. Entonces, usted ve aquí, ya no se usa el BIN. I have, sino que en vez, de, en vez de BIN, estamos usando la acción que es estudiado. He estudiado inglés, en inglés corporativo, desde junio. Ok, la acción va a determinar el verbo y el tiempo. Aquí estamos hablando de unos minutos de la clase esta. Aquí estamos hablando de meses que usted ha estudiado inglés, right? So that's one, one thing that we can do. Ok, what else? Ok. Good. Uh -huh. ¿Quién tenía esta pregunta ahí? Please, sorry. Yo. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, ¿se, puede, ¿Se podría decir, you have traveled? Vamos, ok, you, ajá. Uh -huh. To New York the last few years. To New York. The last few years. Let me see, to New York. Ok, for the last. Seguimos aquí. For the last. For the last, uh, Two years, three years, uh -huh, few years. Few is very, very in general, right? Keep on for, for the last two years, three years, pero si se podría. Okay. Two or few, or three, four. Porque el few es relativo, okay? So you have traveled to New York, but this is correct, okay? You have traveled. Here we are using another verb, okay? Otra pregunta. Another question. Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, here we are um, using affirmative sentences. Uh, look at the questions. We only invert. Have you? Para una pregunta de yes no questions, solo se invierte. Have you traveled to New York for the last two years? Okay. La respuesta? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Respuesta corta. Respuesta larga. Yes, I have traveled to New York for the last two years. Okay, people. So this is the idea of the chance. Okay. Cualquier dudita que salga así, me la hacen saber, okay? Porque esto es importante que, que digamos que les, que nos quede bien cimentado y claro porque hay diferencias en los tiempos y todo, como digo, se va, un, se va a utilizar cuando queramos unir 
un punto en el pasado o una acción en el presente. Cuando usamos simple past, that action is dead, finished. I saw my, I saw a movie this afternoon. I watched a movie this afternoon. The action is finished, it's over. Okay, no more. You got it? Okay. Now let's see. Um, now we're going to, and the next topic. It's about. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Okay, check that for you. We have, we use have. She and he has, okay, she has written, okay, the, she's called. And for they, we also use have, have they eaten. Contractions, I've, you've, his, she's, and it's. With and they've. With, uh, with uh, let's say, with travel. Hemos viajado, we've traveled, they've traveled, ellos han viajado, right? So you can use these contractions. We haven't, we haven't eaten, he hasn't eaten, okay? Different activities. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for ten years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the pre- Okay, this is another important point, right? I have worked hard this week, okay? This week, this year, today, okay? Six times, many times. So these are expressions que siempre van a ir unidas a este tiempo, a este eh, verbo gramatical, tiempo gramatical. Okay, you say, I have worked hard this week. Okay, for example, uh, how do you feel today? Tired? or with energy, okay, who can answer? 
How do you feel today? Uh -huh. How do you feel I, today? I am. I. I feel. I feel. Uh, I feel tired. I feel very tired. I feel very tired. I feel very sick. I feel very sick. Okay, Wilfredo. You say, I feel very sick. Then you can say, I have worked hard today. Okay, I have worked a lot this year. Okay, and now you feel sick. Okay, you can say, for example, a lot of things. Okay, in this case, for example, it has rained a lot this year. Eso lo dijimos la semana pasada. Recuerden que este año ha llovido bastante, right? More than previous years. Tenía años de no llover como ha llovido ahora. Okay, it has rained a lot this year. Okay, so these are, they have seen that film six times. Okay, these expressions will always be used with the present perfect. Now, the next two words, hay otras dos palabras. Present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have... Okay, already, already is a word that goes after have or has and before the main verb. We have already had our breakfast. When you are going to do your homework, when are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it, okay? Already means something, an action that has been finished, okay? Is it clear? Already an action that has been finished. Okay, teacher. Yes. When you say, for example, um, I have already, a, I have already, a, let me see, I have already understood this topic. A, for example, or if I invite you, I invite you to the, to the movies, okay? And we are going to watch the Fast and Furious uh, 1, okay? Fast and Furious 1. ¿Quién no ha visto Fast and Furious 1? ¿Ya todos la vieron? Yes, the Fast and Furious one. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. ¿Alguien yes. que no? Okay, then, si yo los invito, if I invite you to the movies and say, okay, let's go to the movies, we're going to watch uh, Fast and Furious one. I said, no, nah, no, nah, teacher. Why? We have already seen that movie. Okay, ya la vimos. Okay, we have already seen that movie ya la hemos visto. we have already seen it many times we have already seen it three times okay so already means algo que ya está hecho more 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 times huh? <laughs> mucha, mucha veces. many 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 times <laughs> many, many. <laughs> yes many times yes that movie is very Popular. Okay. I have already had a breakfast. When okay. are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. The next one. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Okay. So when we use yet, means that something that we expected that has happened or hasn't happened, we usually put it at the end of the sentence. Has the post arrived yet? Okay, have you done your homework yet? Okay, have you, okay, have you finished 
the platform yet? Pregunta seria. Okay. Have you? Here it comes. Esta es una pregunta verdadera. Have you? Have you completed the platform yet? Uh -huh. Answers. No, yet. Okay, if you see, aquí tenemos el, uh -huh, okay. Tenemos el verbo have, you, que son todos ustedes, completed, Verb in past participle and the word yet. Y aquí es como ya, ¿verdad? Ya completaron. Have you completed the platform yet? Ya, alguien me dijo not yet. Y si es positivo? Yes. I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Or, no, I haven't. Okay, no, I haven't. Okay, so this could be, you know, not yet. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't done it yet. Okay, so those are the possible answers. Questions, have you completed the platform yet, okay? And this one means, something that it, that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. Okay, con la expectativa de que ya hayan terminado o de que no la hayan terminado. O algunos que estén a punto de. Okay, for example, have you if, uh, completed or finished the platform yet, you say, no, but I almost finished. No, but I am almost done. Ya casi, right? I am almost done. Okay, aquí ya es un... Depende de... De qué nivel... Hasta qué nivel hayan llegado. Okay? Good. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Okay, has Santa Claus arrived yet? Otra pregunta seria, right? Has Santa Claus, has Santa Claus arrived yet? No yet. Not no yet. yet, okay, not yet, okay. Okay, then we can say, for example, it could be probably in two months or three months. He'll be here. Look at the time. Okay. Good. Don't forget to ask. Okay, here we have an exercise. Okay, to use this, um, this is structure. Arely, can you please read Tell the read instructions here. But teacher, instruction. In, yes, instructions, please. Instruction, complete this conversation. Use the present perfect, use the verbs in brackets. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carmina, can you read the number one, please? Okay, is I have been already to aerobic class four four times. Okay, number one. Ah. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Have you done much exercise this week? Okay. Have you done much exercise this week? Okay, very good. Thank you. 
Uh, Wilfredo, yeah, number two. Number two. Yep. Oh. Uh, Mm. Sería, yes, I, yes, I have been. Yes, I have. Yes, been. I have been already. No, I guess I have already been. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I have already been to aerobic class, class for time. Okay. Thank you. Daniel? Number three. Daniel, Daniel, number three. As you play it. Have, remember that has have. is um, only for he and for she. She, but had. Play, have you played it? Any sports? Any sport this month? This month. Okay. Very good. And thank you. Now, next one. Daisy, number four. No, I didn't. I think quite. Number four. Oh. No. Oh, I haven't, I haven't had. I haven't had, correct, okay. I haven't had the time. The, the time. Very good. No, no tenido tiempo. I haven't had the time. Okay, for example, have you, uh, have you, um, have you read the book? No, I haven't no, I had haven't the time. time. I haven't had the time. Good. A Gloria, number five. Okay. Uh, how many movies uh, have you been to this month? How many movies have you movies? been to this month? Sorry. Okay. Number six. Jose. Aquí debería ser sin. Porque es connected with this one. Uh -huh. Gloria. No, sorry. Eh, Jose. No. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Sin, remember. ¿Sí? Es sin. Este es el verbo participio. Este es el presente. Sí. 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 Past tense is so, and then sin. Ok. Haven't seen. Past participio. Ok, good. Brenda, number seven. Uh, how do you win to any answer? Party? Present. Okay, have you have been, been? Have been. Okay. What was that? Okay, number eight. Uh, who? Number eight. No, I haven't gone to any party for the kids period a uh, while. Haven't gone. Haven't gone. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Oscar, okay. number nine. Okay, teacher, good evening. Hello. Have a call, have a call you. Have you called any friends today? Have you called? Have you called? Called. called. Have you called? Uh -huh. Any friends today? Any friends today. Okay. Call. And uh, Angel. Number 10. Yes. Mm. 
I I have made 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 I have already made, made. made. Uh -huh. okay. already made okay three calls okay good okay very good now you can see your answers and we can see that all of them are correct okay eh, esto es lo que deben de practicar right la, la estructura de ahí los verbos pues solo van cambiando los verbos de acuerdo a, al tema que ustedes quieran eh, etc abordar right for example here is that have you played any sports Podría ser, have you listened any, any music this month? Podría ser, have you cooked, cocinado? Have you cooked any food this month? Podría ser, have you uh, read any books this month? Uh, could be, have you, let me see, have you run a marathon this month have you visited a, um, let's say the any relatives any friends this month okay la estructura es lo importante de practicar ahí los verbos en una lista pueden irse los poco a poco memorizando right o asimilando okay this is important okay so that's why it is important that you go over the, the knowledge check and do a lot of practice. Okay, let me see. What else, what else we have? Okay, this is what we have for the moment. Okay, in this session, a conversation will be listened to, in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Aquí van a ver lo que les explicaba yo, lo que es el pasado y el presente perfecto. Y ahí lo van a ver cómo se usa en una conversación. Okay, now listen. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Have you ever had green curry? Okay, what is the first sentence with the present perfect? First 
first sentence with the present perfect. Have, have you been here long? I've been here long. Okay. The second. Have you ever eaten? Have you chose? Have you chosen? Have you chosen a restaurant? Restaurant yet? Okay. The third one. Have you ever eaten? Eaten Moroccan food. Okay. Moroccan food. Four. Have you ever have had drink curry? Before that one? Hay otra antes. If you ever eat Moroccan food, I have had okay. several, I have had it several times. That's the fourth one. The fifth one, have you ever had green curry? Six. Only, right? In past tense, how many? What is the first one? Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, what is Morocco? Morocco. Marrec food. Marrecos. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Food okay. from Marrecos. Yes, Oscar. Thank you. Okay, welcome. What is the past tense? Past tense sentences. And we have several. Several. How long is I lived in Thailand, Thailand as a teenager. Uh -huh. I, I ate, ate a lot. I, I, I did. Uh -huh. no, I didn't that, know that. I didn't know that. Okay. I lived there for two years. I lived like, how I long did you live? For two years. And I lived there for two years. For two years. Okay, so you see this is the, what Peter, okay, has done from the past until now, okay, and Mandy, and then this is what they did and what they didn't do in the past. And say, I have, I live in Thailand as a teenager. Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, I lived there for two years. I ate a lot there. I okay, so we're going to have a uh, postcard. Please read the... Uh, Part of Peter, okay, and Areli. Read the part of Man Mandy, please, Mandy. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen? A restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Mar Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It's, it's good. It's delicious. I had it several times. Or how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand. As a teenager, I eat I eating a lot of there. I didn't know that. How long did you live here? There. I there. lived there for two years. I lived there for two years. Okay, very good. Thank okay. you. Now, uh, thank you for you. Okay, uh, Carmina and Stanley. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. This is good. 
It's delicious. I've had, I have it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I uh, I eat I eat a lot there. I didn't know that. How long do you live there? I live there for two years. For two years, okay. So that's Thailand food. I ate it a lot there. Good. Okay, uh, let me see one more that we have. Uh, Daisy, you are Mandy and Wilfredo, you are Peter. Okay. Okay, teacher. I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, early for um few. What? Few. Few minutes. Few minutes. Okay. Have you showing a restaurant yet? Mm, no. Um I es que veo bien, me está como borroso mi, 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 mi párrafo. I can decide. I can decide. Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten? Eaten? eaten Moro Moroccan? Moroccan? Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It's it good. It's delicious. I have had it um, several, several times. Several times. Or how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I'm living in How Thailand. Late? In Thailand. Um, as a teenager. As a teenager. Um, I, I, I ate it. I ate it. Ate it. Has ate it. Last them. I didn't. I know that. How long did you live there? I live in there, there for two years. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay, people, then please for tomorrow, okay, practice. Uh, we are going to have a similar conversation. Okay, to this, but you are going to ask questions, okay? You're going to create it. So please uh, read this conversation many times, okay? To practice the questions with have you, uh, the structure of uh, present perfect, okay? Because we are going to have a lot of practice tomorrow uh, with these two tenses. Present perfect and simple past. Simple past. Yes, a simple past and uh, present. Ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. Okay, teacher. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Thank you. Okay, so then um, that's all for today. Okay, uh, don't forget to complete the, the platform. Uh, we have only three classes. Si tienen preguntas, háganmelas así como ahora, con el presente perfecto. La idea es que mañana lo practiquemos mucho. Eh, por favor, si tienen preguntas, háganlas, no problem. Ok, para aclarar todo eh, lo que tengas de dudas de, en sí de todo el nivel, ¿verdad? And that's it for today. So, go to rest. Have a good night. Good See night. You. Sí. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.